hello so today we'll talk about ip addresses uh, before discussing about like computer science ip addresses let's think about our real life mailing services so what do we actually need if we want to send a mail uh, to a person in real life we definitely need an address actually to send something uh, to a person right similar way in computer science we also need to know the address of the machine or the computer where actually we want to transfer some data or file and from there actually the idea of ip address came from so an ip address is basically a unique address that identifies a device on the internet or a local network ip stands for like internet protocol which is kind of a set of rule uh defining the format of the data we want to send via the internet okay let's talk about how actually the ip works so every devices we use actually is connected to a network which is connected to the internet that network actually grants our devices access to the internet so when we are actually at home the network will probably be our internet service provider also known as isp whereas in our office it might be our company's private network provider or something else so technically all of our devices ip addresses are assigned by our internet service provider or isp they control the things so our internet activity first goes through the isp and they route it back to us using our ip addresses say for example we sent some request to the web that request actually goes to the internet service provider gateway which is technically our router from our device and when that router receives some request it also sends back the data to our devices and it has the mechanism for maintaining this routing Also, another important thing is like IP addresses can sense. For example, turning our modem or router on or off can sense. Also, if we can contact our internet service providers, they can also sense the IP addresses for us. So, usually there are two types of IP addresses public IP addresses and private IP addresses. So what is public IP address? A public IP address is an IP address that can be accessed directly over the internet. Is assigned to our network router by our internet service provider. So think about a scenario. We have multiple devices in our home, right? So we have a smartphone, we have computer, laptop, maybe a smart TV, some IoT devices, maybe Alexa and other smart systems. All of them need some kind of IP addresses and our router also has an ip address which is actually provided by our internet service provider so there is a partition in between our like home devices and the outer world outer internet so router is in between of them so the router actually has a public ip which is common to all of our devices and all of our devices in our home has a private IP address. So yeah, private IP address is kind of like the address our network router assigns to our devices. Each device within the same network is assigned a unique IP address. Also sometimes we call it like private network address. This is how devices on the same internal network talk to each other. Also another good example could be here like say for example when we try to print something in a printer which is in the same network as our computers are we can send the printing documents to our printer without any kind of wire connection because they are in the same network and also if our neighbor from the um, different house try to send print command to our printer it won't come because they have their own private ip boundary and they have their kind of public ip address at their router 
So yeah, these are the concepts of public and private IP addresses. Okay, so what is IPv4? IPv4 basically stands for Internet Protocol version 4, so for the popular one, and it has some kind of rule sets for its addresses and other steps. One of the most important thing of IPv4 is like its IP address is 32 bit address, where we have four separate numerical partitions, and this number basically identifies a device uniquely. And let's talk about IPv6 before talking about the differences. So IPv6 is known as the Internet Protocol version 6 and was deployed in 1999. The concerning that the demand for IP addresses would exceed the available supply, right? So as we said in the previous slide, IPv4 is a 34-bit address system where it allows us to have kind of like a little more than 4 billion unique IP addresses that means we can have like 4 billion devices connected to the internet at the same time though we have we have some other other mechanisms to overpass that number however uh, that's not enough that's why uh, we invented a new system which is known as IPv6 and in IPv6 the address is technically 128 bit of IT addresses which can support 2 to the power 128 internet addresses in total and which is massive uh, almost close to infinity and we will never raise that that's the expectation so now let's talk about the differences between IPv4 and IPv6 so the major difference as I talked already is the IP address size IPv4 is a 32 bit address whereas the IPv6 is a 128 bit address so in IPv4 it can hold a little more than 4 billion addresses to be exact and IPv4 address is numeric and its binary bits are separated by a dot IPv6 addresses are represented as 8 groups of 4 hexadecimal digits is separated by clones so here is an example of IPv4 99 dot four eight dot two two seven dot two two seven for ipv6 we also have another example and it has kind of eight groups or blocks separated by clones so to minimize the size of the address space so we invented some good things here so usually continuous chunk of zeros are replaced with double clone but we can do this only once in an address say for example we have two continuous chunk of zeros we cannot deep test both of them we can do it only once and also after doing that inside a block if we have any number of leading zeros we can just omit them totally and ipv6 ha has the mechanism to properly configure that address yeah kind of these are the basic differences and i think uh, it would be helpful for you guys